So nervous. My dad texted me before I came here today and said, get her done. So I'm Erin from Visit Bloomington. I work with travel journalists and I also book conventions here, but I get to deal with a lot of um, fun stuff that happens in Bloomington. And I'm going to just share a few things that I think are really fun and interesting. So first I'm going to start off with the dome of the courthouse. It was built in 1906 and it is 75 feet above the ground. And there are 160 panes of stained glass that were actually made in Kokomo. I think I think it's one of the most beautiful things here. Um, secondly, I'm going to talk about the limestone industry. It is um, 35 of the 50 state capitals were built with Indiana limestone um, manu or that was uh, harvested from the ground here in Bloomington. We have multiple quarries. Um, another thing kind of continuing along with the limestone is all of the owls that are engraved into the stone on campus. Um, you can see them in multiple different places. Brian House, this is in Memorial Hall. It's a sleeping student. Um, the BLTs at Convenient Mart are to die for. It's $3.30 after tax. <laughs> Three slices of bread, white or wheat, and like 50 slices of bacon. Delicious. <laughs> Um, okay, so everybody loves Kleindorfers. It's so awesome. Woo, woo. Um, they've been family owned since 1965. And one of the things that I think is so cool about this place is that Sherwin Williams has created this special paint that they call Country Manor and sell to Kleindorfers that they use to repaint the place every few years. So. You and I both know that if you want to go in anywhere for a nice little chat, um, go there. Um, this is some new project that Relish has started. It, it began as a fundraiser, but these are coasters made of limestone that Relish created that are by far the best souvenir you could ever give anyone. Um, this is the baklava ice cream at Trojan Horse. Anyone? Anyone? has? Have you ever had it? It's to die for also. One of the best desserts you could ever get here in Bloomington. Waiting. Um, ha, uh, Turkaz Cafe. Have you ever been here? You eat on the floor and they have this amazing little grocery store. And if you like Turkish tea, you should go there. They sell those amazing double boiler teapots and the tea that you can buy by the pound. Um, this is the Dalai Lama's bed that is in his private apartment at the Tibetan Mongolian Buddhist Cultural Center. He actually has a private apartment here. Um, for those of you who know, his brother founded the Tibetan Studies Program at IU. Uh, Bloomington Speedway, Clay speed track uh, founded in 1923 Jeff Gordon uh, Tony Stewart my hometown hero from Columbus um, have all raced here they have free camping on Friday nights um, this is the telephone booth at Fountain Square Mall from what I understand cook has this um, secret warehouse that contains all these amazing treasures and this is just one of them that they bring out and put in Fountain Square Mall on on certain but um starlight movie theater eight dollars per adult like five dollars per kid all season two full feature length films i mean what more could you possibly ask for um this is a view from the bottom of the fire tower at the um, Hoosier National Forest in the Dean Wilderness. It's 110 feet and 133 stairs to get to the top, which, you know, if you've been there, you can cover um, your name with graffiti. Uh, this is the convention center. I do a lot of work here, but um, it actually used to be a Ford manufacturing facility. And they used to make the cars on the second level and lower them down to the showroom on the first floor. And on Saturdays, it was the big thing. Uh, this is one of the miniature books that the Lilly Library has. For those of you that don't know how amazing the Lilly Library is, it's seriously the best attraction in Bloomington. This is a copy of the Three Blind Mice. So, um, also the Jacobs School of Music, how could you not love it? They, um, IU actually owns 25 concert harps, um, and we have the har largest harp program in the United States and peanuts at 
Ali Bar, for those of you that love Ali Bar like I do, they go through 75 pounds a week. That occupancy is only 51 people. That's 4,000 pounds a year, people. It's crazy. It's crazy. And last but not least, here we are at the Bluebird, and this is the motorcycle that sits on the other side of the bar from where we are. Supposedly, the guy that um, had to give his motorcycle up had a huge bar tab, and he couldn't um, pay anymore. So um, enjoy, everyone, the rest of the night at the Bluebird. Thank you so much.